If you just had one day to experience as much of Paris as possible, what would you do? For us, it was 30 kilometers of walking, a load of metro rides, some iconic stops, including the Louvre, the Catacombs, and the Arc de Triomphe, which of course you had to do because it was Paris, and there's even a surprise for sewing. Oh, and by the way, I've discovered I'm afraid of heights. So we crammed as much as we could in, in a day that lasted from morning until darkness. Let me show you how we did it. Well, me being me, being a little bit stingy, but also wanting to see as much of Paris in the short time we were there, decided to walk. Um, I'm going to put the Google Maps up. As you can see, it's only six kilometres from our hotel in Montmartre to the catacombs. So, according to Google Maps, it's an hour and a half. I know that I walk fairly quickly, so I knew it would be a little bit less. And the beauty of walking is, bear in mind, by the time you walk to the metro, got the metro, waited for a metro, done your changes, it's going to take you half an hour anyway. You're not going to see anything on a metro. So on that journey, we were able to walk past the Louvre, have a muck about with the iconic picture. We crossed the Pont de Carousel, and we also walked past the Montparnasse Tower. I hope I'm saying that right, but that's another place that we would have liked to have gone to but didn't have the time and I'm gonna pencil it in for another trip because it is the highest viewpoint in Paris. Of course because Titch didn't want to miss our slot we arrived at the catacombs fairly early and what else to do but have breakfast to set us up for the day. Right so I've decided we're in Paris it's breakfast time let's go for something traditional where all the French eat and what do you what are you fancying? Croissants. Yeah. Croissants, the works. Oh, look! Da, da, da. Now, I've covered the catacombs in another video, but they were definitely worth a look. I was reluctant to go in the first place, but no, it was very, very nice. Um, full of history, it wasn't a freak show, it wasn't ghoulish, and if you are into freaky and ghoulish, that will satisfy you as well. But seeing as we were staying with the dead, I can't go to Paris without paying my respects to Jim Morrison. I'm a massive Doors fan. But there is so much more to Père Lachaise Cemetery than just the Doors. You know, there's um, Oscar Wilde's tombs there, and there's a variety of monuments to the massive, a lot of monuments to the Holocaust, Auschwitz, various, various conflicts. It is a huge place. If you're a mega history buff and you had a guide, you could probably spend the whole day there. Um, we didn't as it was raining, but we thought now would be, you know, by the time we'd done that, it would be a good time to stop for lunch. So I'm always aware that lunch in tourist cities is always a bit of a um, chance to empty your pocket. And to be honest, it's just lunch. You know, if, it, if I'd found a spa, I'd have stopped there and had a meal deal if they do them over there. But we found this lovely little restaurant and I looked at the menu and I thought I fancy chips but I also fancy hummus so we had a decent portion of chips and a portion of hummus I had a pint and it came in for 15 euros and while we were there we planned what we were going to do next so with lunch out of the way it was time to hop on a train and head towards the Arc de Triomphe see I didn't make a walk all the way I can't believe we notched up 30 kilometers that day and when we got there the queues weren't bad so we took the chance to go up the top what a place, what a view. Shame the weather wasn't better and we'd have seen so much more. Of course at this point, Suin still doesn't know what her treat is for later. And of course this is where I'm starting to discover that I'm not enjoying heights. It's weird, I used to work at height when I was younger and yeah, steps and things, I'm not enjoying them anymore. I mean, I'm fine when I get up there, it's just the coming downstairs, it must be some form of vertigo. So the next thing was the Champs Elysees. I was dreading this bit because Suing can enjoy spending. But no, the only thing we bought on there was a brolly for me. She'd already had one in the um, catacombs. Uh, she particularly wanted to see the Jelly Cat Cafe. Now I'm not 100% sure what a Jelly Cat actually is, but apparently there's a cafe and it's supposed to be in Galleries Lafayette. Well, we found Galleries Lafayette However, no Jelly Cat Cafe. There's apparently two Galleries Lafayette and the other one is an Opera Houseman, which is the other side of town. So guess what? It's time to get our boots on and start walking again. But not long into that, I decided to do one of my favorite pastimes in Paris. So in trying to work out what surprise I've got for her tonight. She doesn't have a clue, does she? Just look at her, she is completely clueless. 
in Welsh we would say heb clyw. In Plum Sun. Right. But we're just sitting having a espresso and a chill. And we're heading for Galleries Lafayette Houseman Opera in the hope that we can find whatever a jelly cat is. Yeah. Quite enjoying Paris. Same. Yeah? What have you enjoyed the most so far? Catacombs. The what? Catacombs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm shopping last night. You are? I'm shopping last night. Shopping last night. Yeah. She likes shopping. Mm -hmm. Which is stop for a coffee. I don't know what it is about Paris, but the espressos are just perfect. And it's a cheap way of finding a toilet spot for sewing. The one thing we haven't mastered is where to find cheap toilets in Paris. So I'm having a blinking espresso every time Madam needs the loo. Wee wee. <laughs> Average cost per wee, two euros fifty. After much walking and coffee, we finally made it to Galleries Lafayette in Opera Houseman. It's a completely different shopping area and is not unlike the Champs Elysees, but maybe a bit posher. And I now know what a jelly cat cafe is. It's basically teddy bears that look like cakes and they pretend it's a patisserie. And even more sad, the girls make a pretend squirty noise when they put the pretend squirty cream on the top. Soin was impressed. Luckily she didn't make me buy anything though. Right, well the next stop was the Trocadero where Madame wanted to get a iconic picture of the Eiffel Tower from there. It's a little bit congested because there was still a lot of the barriers up from the Olympics. But she kept saying there's lots of famous people had their picture taken here, I want mine taken here. And she did. I only found out afterwards which famous person she was talking about. So anyway, we've done the um, dodgy picture at the Trocadero and it's time to head back over towards the Eiffel Tower area. And at this point, Suwin still doesn't know where she's going, but we decided to go for a bite to eat a few streets back. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't overly blown away with the meal. It was a bit pricey and I don't, didn't think a lot of the service, but we had our chance to have escargot in France. So what else could you, what else could you wish for? So on from there, it's time for the Eiffel Tower. By the way, that's so in surprise. It's fairly impressive, isn't it? It is. Let's face it, her surprise was going to be something iconic, and you get nothing more iconic than the Eiffel Tower. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go to the top because I only had a couple of weeks to play with and the tickets had sold out. But we did manage to get a booking to go to the second floor which to be honest if you're going up at night I think you see enough of Paris to be worth going up and you're not cramming onto the top and if the weather's bad it's not nice on the top I've been there before but you just get a scale for how large it actually is when you go up there and on the second level there's cafes you can get macarons you can get all sorts the gift shops are quite reasonably priced I thought and so anyway they do an illumination show every night on the hour and of course madam after i found out the place was only built with an intention of staying up for 20 years madam decides that she wants to be down the bottom for on the hour which involves getting me to go down the bloody steps now as we've already said i'm not enjoying anything to do with heights on this trip and the steps, all I could think of was they were slippery and this thing's probably 200 years past its extended design life. So yeah, that really cheered me up. But anyway, it was a fantastic time and I would definitely do it again. And I think we did pretty well to squeeze what we did into a day. And yep, it was 30 kilometers walking but well worth it and we got back to the hotel at a sensible time but just late enough that we were a bit peckish and there was a branch of Popeyes that I've never tried before they do amazing chicken so anyway thanks for watching um, is there anything you think we missed out or do you think we took too long on anything what would you have added what would you have dropped 
we're still there for another day so I'm going to do a video about that and thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you soon